What is going on, y'all? What is going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I hope everybody is doing good. Continue to boss up. Take your position. This is it. It's the final countdown. Ooh. It's the final countdown. Time to fly for a lot of y'all. Look at all these. So we can get some, get some good and see what's going on. I am Oya Oya. I'm simply here to just do my job. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Just want to get some messages out for the collective. I'm also doing my Shocktober series with these Cuckoo comics so we can know the energy that's going on around us. Um. I went through my shock phase when you start to find out how crazy people really are. Like, somebody needs to check their cell phone. I don't know if there's something on it. I don't know if it's if somebody's getting ready to go through something with their cell phone. <sighs> okay, so somebody got a decision. It's either a yes or a no. I'm also getting a birth certificate, so it's either you're gonna you're either gonna accept this baby that was uh, hearing from you at first to move on with whoever this loved one is or whoever you got this relationship with, or not. Cause this completed, something's done here. Like nothing can be hidden. There are no more secrets. God is calling judgment. Everything is being highlighted. You need to know that. There is no competition. There isn't. So you're either going to be the best that you can be or not. You're either going to let it go or not. But somebody has a, a serious decision when it comes to a child's life. Because I'm telling you now, like, the reason I've been getting on some of these women and these children, when y'all treating them wrong and telling them that their parents hate them or you might be pinching them or whooping them or mistreating them because you don't like the parents or the parent, uh, the, the real parents of the child that you may be in their life. I'm telling y'all, judgment. You can't play with kids. Women and children really are off limits. And I'm going to tell y'all. It is done. It is done. Judgment. Somebody was stressed out because they ain't getting no check for some kids. So basically, who... Okay, so imagine somebody that is literally one of these people that had children because they simply want to claim them at the end of the year or get more food stamps or get a, a, a state check on them, get them hooked on pills. You know, this is somebody that gets their income from basically selling their kids out to the government or selling their kids out for... Kibbles and bits. Yeah, they getting ready to slip up. So y'all could have did something. Um, maybe some type of fraudulent stuff. Like, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing right here? Yeah, you did something. You done lied about something. You can even say that your ch child tried to commit suicide or you try to commit suicide. Somebody's trying to do something for a check. Your screws are not too tight. This is also somebody that's trying to secure some type of marriage. So, whoever this is, first of all, if you with somebody and you're trying to marry this person and you just found out that this person has a child, once again, it's either yes or no. Do you want to do that? Because what you're not going to be allowed to do because this child has tightened security from the heavens you're not going to be able to play with people's kids. You can't play with children of God. Yeah, whoever says it's back and forth. First of all, you 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 evil. You evil simply because you know what's right and what's wrong, but you keep doing evil stuff. Like You keep doing stuff that don't make no sense. You could even be smoking crack. You could be smoking 
meth. You could be smoking something, but it's causing you to be going through the most. Okay, so I also got somebody that's smoking here. They don't need to go where they're supposed to go. You might have even been trying to get a ride from a, re a rest stop, a restaurant, or you going to the restroom. But there's somebody here that's, um, he's smoking. And there's so much energy around the river. Yeah, so this could be a stripper. Somebody, once again, take what resonates, y'all. Energy is energy, please. Everyone is a star and their own story. But sometimes stuff ain't going to be for you. It, it, this is a lot of energy and it's a lot that's going on. That's why I'm doing the October, Shocktober series. Because I want to know what is going on around the collective. Because I hope that, you know, we getting better and better and being... And, and seeing and knowing and understanding and discerning this type of behavior in people because somebody wants to either smoke with you or lay something that you're going to smoke. And whoever's ancestors and angels are, they're telling you not to go. So you could be still battling um, addiction. Somebody could still be battling addiction. But whoever it is, they either drive trucks or they could be this is somebody that frequents restaurants um rest stops and restrooms but it's too much energy around strippers and water and they don't want you to go yeah it's somebody it's it's an older man whoever this is yeah they telling you to fall back because whoever this is they they mad and they watching you they mad and they watching you so people are still spying because they have nothing better to do with their life. They, 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 it's really an uproar because collectively we not we just tired of it. So when I say I'm simply doing my job, I'm doing what God told me to do, and that's to speak truth in life. Like we live and love life. We're not we're not out here trying to pick people up at the rest stop restaurant or. The, the restroom so we can dump bodies in the river. Like everything's coming out in a hole. It ain't you back it used to be a time where everything come out piece by piece by piece. This shit's gonna be dropped like a bomb. All the stuff that's been going on that's been happening. I'm hearing children in fast fast food, children being cooked in fast food. Like what is going on? What kind of world are we living in? That's why I'm telling you, reading is not for everybody. It, it, you have to really be, you really have to go through the most. You can come out here and try to watch uh, 15 to 20 different people and pull from them and try to make who you are. But I'm telling you, all is being separated from water. That's all it is to it. There's going to be a complete separation because it's too much evil going on. Yeah, it's getting it's getting demo. Everything's coming coming down. People been on too much sucker shit, and justice is being served. Like people are come becoming wiser. They understand that a lot of things are hostile in their life that causes them to go to the hospital. And when they when these people got people that's doing stuff to them, they going to God. And guess what? The people that's doing stuff to them is going to God. And God can't hear y'all. God's not even listening. How can y'all go so hard on one side for so long to the point where it took the biggest tower to happen in your life for you to be like, oh, God, please hear me. And okay, and God will hear you. But guess what? You got to go through this first. You can have to clean this up. Someone close to somebody is like literally telling them to give up on their dreams. They don't want you to do what you've been doing. They don't want you to have ambition. They don't want you to be close to your dream. And you close. Your ancestors said you close. They can't take nothing from you. You got the whole spiritual realm fighting for you. Let's just be real. Don't try to be fit in because I'm telling you, people are kind. So imagine you trying to fit into people that ain't even they self. What? What do I want to fit into a group of people that don't even know who they are or know, know they self? If I can't stand alone, then who the hell do I expect to stand with me? They gonna fall before I do, but I won't, I won't, I can't stand alone. That don't make sense. That don't make sense. 
Yeah, somebody been lying to her. It like it's a group. So they work in groups to pick to like kick up all this hate and, and, and torture. I'm hearing torture. They wanna like torture to where you wanna go. You just wanna leave life. You just don't wanna be. Yeah, and it's a whole trap. So, and this is the, the cycle of these pregnancy traps. Because imagine having a child that, that, that you never never liked when you had them. And then now that you, they're growing up and all that, you still don't like them. Because of, you know, everything that happened that you didn't heal from. And you basically just trapped the father that didn't want you or the baby afterwards. Like, this is what's happening. This got to stop. It's got to stop. Somebody needs to spend more alone time um, because of what they're dealing with. And it, I keep getting, I don't know what's up with all these highway murders or highway. I don't know if it's part of a ritual or what, but it's a lot of, I've been getting highway, um, high speeds, like high speed chases, stuff going on on the highway. Okay, some people are getting scattered here too because they cheaters. Basically, they didn't cheat it for everything, you know. And they, this is a mental illness. Like they done been taken over by something just simply because they don't want you to get what you deserve or get what's coming to you because you're the original child. Like y'all can't do this. Somebody's here that really wants somebody's car to be broke down on the highway so they can either get hit or want them hit. They also want to try to poison somebody because, once again, they done poisoned you at least three times or four times, but it has not worked. It's nothing's working. Nothing's working. Tampering with your car ain't working. Uh, messing with your phone ain't working. Like, it's not working. They a whole phony out here. You win. Okay, we also got here that um, a community is in crisis, y'all. It's a lot of soul stealing that's going on. That means plenty of murders, plenty, plenty of cover-ups, plenty of rituals, plenty of sacrifices. And people need to know that it's some people that is around you that has done spell work. There has, they, they do beauty spells. They do all type of stuff. But you, you have the heart of a lion. So what they want you to do is make sure that these people have no teeth. Because once you lie through your teeth so much, you got to rot your own mouth. I'm just saying. Because you're talking bullshit. It's time for people to start saving themselves. Like, uh, everybody who wants to reach out for something outside of themselves. True. Because we want that tangible feeling of... You know, support and love and compassion, but a lot of it ain't around us right now. So you have to go within, love yourself, save yourself, help yourself, read, teach yourself, unlearn things that you have been taught. Because I'm telling you, it has been frauds. You have been pawns, and if you just look, if you just ask, it's all in a book. It's all in a book. Somewhere it's in a book. Imagine the uh, the truth. Of everything that has ever taken place being in a book. Hmm. It's called the Bible.